is up guys, hello and welcome back, it is Sam here and today we're going to be playing some more FDB Infinity Skyblocks So, what are we going to be doing today? We are first of all going to be upgrading our tools, so this is actually really easy to do And what we want to do, I'm just going to chuck that, now let's keep this with me for a minute I'm going to get myself a uh, sword pattern, so let's go into here and get our sword We can probably do it from here actually, yes we can Okay, we want a pickaxe head um, so let's get that out of cobblestone, there we go, a pickaxe head, let's get ourselves a, um, what else do we want, we want a sword blade, let's get ourselves an axe head, and then a shovel head, that should be uh, good enough, I believe, awesome sauce, and uh, then I'm going to chuck that back in there, and I'm going to put these in here, we're going to need a bunch of gold, so that's not too bad, we're going to need two gold for each, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight gold, okay, let's chuck that in there, as you can see, I have been smelting up a ton of ore, so we've got a load of ingots for to help us with uh, what we're going to be doing this episode, which is upgrading our tools. We're going to do a bit of crop breeding to get ourselves some sugar canes. We're going to be automating that, and then maybe in the metal form today. I'm not sure, depending on how long this episode goes. Let me just start my stopwatch. There we go. So I know how long the episode's going for, because that's quite helpful. Okay, so the gold should be melted soon. We don't actually want that going through, so let's, let me just remove that. Not that it will, because there isn't an enders in there. We did have an enderman dying here, which is kind of quite cool. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get ourselves a shovel head pattern. The shovel head will get removed, which is brilliant. That's a go on a tinker tweaks doing that. Let's get ourselves a uh, little axe head. That's one. I think there should be all be one. I'm not sure. One. Let's see how much that is. That is also uh, one. Yep, good, and this should be one in theory. So it should be, we're going to need a, a bunch of iron. Let me just check after this how much we're going to need. Okay, so that is one. Okay, so they're all one. So we're going to want one, two, three, four, five, six to make the hatchet. So six iron. One, two, three, four, five, six. You may be thinking, oh, this is going to be waste a ton of iron. Because obviously, every time the tool breaks, it's going to cost a bunch of iron. But no, I'm going to put repair on these tools. So you know, that should help a ton. There is already repair on my sword. So that doesn't need another repair, but let's turn these all into repairs. So there's another two. So that is my pickaxe and like axe sorted. Um, and then we're also going to get another two more once this um, gives enough, uh, you know, um, mossy cobble. So this um, is like a mossy cobble basic generator pretty much. And uh, all it does is it makes this mossy cobble. If you put water in a barrel and put cobblestone around it, it will uh, every so often turn the cobblestone into mossy cobble, which is actually really useful. So you can get some infinite mossy cobble from that, which is great. So yeah, awesome. Um, what else can we do? Now, we are literally waiting for some more, um, waiting for that iron smelt down. We've got some more moss stone, which is great, so we can make ourselves some, another ball of moss, which is absolutely really useful. Um, okay, so that iron should have melted down. It has. Okay, so let's make ourselves a sword blade. One of them. Thank you. An axe head. We want two of them. They're both, they're all gonna go into there, which is absolutely fine. Okay, then we also want a shovel head. Two of them. One, two, brilliant, and then we're going to want a pickaxe head. Awesome, and that should be all our iron used up. It is great. Let's take all of these, chuck these all in here, and get all our stuff out. Brilliant, so now what we can do is we can change this all up. If we go into here, this is the Guana Tinker Tweaks again uh, in this one. If we put our sword here, we can put a sword blade in there to change that to iron, which is now like a bunch more useful. As you see, the hearts are now... Uh, 4.5 hearts of sprint damage or normal 3. This mining speed is 4.5 at the moment. Uh, and if we put it into here. And the durability. You can't change that. Oh, it needs to be full. It needs to be um, full durability if you want to change your tool head. So that's fine. We can just change all of these up. If we do all of them like that. There we go. And then if we put these in here. And we go there, there, like that. The durability was here. 131 and the mining speed 4. It is now 250 and the mining speed 6, which is way more useful. Um, the stone shovel, mining speed is 4, durability 131. So now mining speed 6, durability 250. Again, massively more useful. Let's do the axe as well. Um, let's do that the other way around. Um, okay, that will be 250 and 6 and imagine it was 131 and 4. Cool, nice. And then we want to do the mattock. So that's just that and that. And I don't know if we can change the mattock. We can, but part by part. 281 and 64. So then if we put this, the shovel on there, there we go. 375, 6 and 6. Great. So that's all our tools put on iron. And now we're going to go into here, put the ball of moss on that, which is great. And we just need one more ball of moss, which is not too bad. I will wait for that off camera. 
There we go. They've all got auto repair on them. These are going to be way more useful than they were before. For instance, if we now take, if we now were going to take hits at mobs, it would kill them a lot more easier. We can kill this Enderman easy now. So let's go. Come on, Enderman. Especially if we hide under a tree. Nice. Ender pearls. Woo. That's actually really, really handy. There's another Enderman over here. So let's get him as well. If we just give him a whack and then walk over here, he's going to follow us and be like really angry. And that's fine. We're going to get another tree. Thank you very much. Two ender pearls. Awesome. So that's that little part. Now we're going to do some crop breeding. What I want to make, I want to make punji sticks. These will kill mobs if you, um, if mobs land on them. They will take hearts off them. Um, well, they'll take hearts off them all the time. So it's kind of good. And how we can make sugar canes is sugar cane seeds. We need wheat seeds and carrot seeds on sand. So let's get ourselves some sand. Put a piece of cobblestone down here. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to sieve up this dirt and try and get ourselves a carrot seed. So this axe did come in handy, I did do a load of chopping down on trees. Um, it took absolutely ages, but we're going to try and get ourselves a carrot seed, because if you do sift um, dirt, I'll show you here. If you sift dirt over like here, you can get yourself carrot seeds, which is what we're looking for at the moment. Um, because we need carrot and wheat to make sugar cane seeds. So that is what we're trying to go for, and hopefully we can get it. Um, because I have already sifted a load of dirt to try and get it, and didn't get it, so, you know, hopefully we can. So, five more pieces to go, and I will see you in a sec. Do you know what? We didn't even need to get carrot seeds, because we actually got sugar cane seeds straight from it, so that's a load more useful. So let's grab these sugar cane seeds, where do they actually go? Right here. Okay, so we need a bit of, uh, sand, so we're gonna get us a bit of that. So we need to get some cobblestone and hammer this guy down. So let's, we want, we want to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I believe, but I believe Sugar King can grow on dirt now, can't it? Let's see if it can grow on dirt. It doesn't matter if it can grow on dirt, actually, because we can't get dirt from this anyway, so we need sand. So let's chuck this all down in sand. It's going to go to gravel, and then we're going to take that straight up to sand. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Let's turn that around into sand. Which is what it's going to now. Do we have a bed? Because uh, sleeping would be good right now. Cool, we do. Okay, so let's turn this into... Uh, before it... Yeah, turn that into sand before it, you know, seeps out and goes everywhere. We did destroy that one, but it's not too much of a problem. We can just place it back down again. Yeah, we're going to destroy it. That's alright, that's alright, that's alright. We'll just put that down there. So now, once we put all this down, we, we can plant the sugar cane seeds, for instance, just like that. And then we'll have some sugar cane growing. So now, we just need to wait for five sugar cane to grow. Okay, did it automatically. Cool. Uh, we need to wait for five sugar cane to grow, and then we can, um, you know, we can make our punji sticks, which will be really useful. And then that will actually make it able for us to automate the, um, the mob spawner, which will be great. So... Um, I'm going to wait for five sugar kids to grow on here, and I'll get back to you guys in a minute, so I'll see you then. Okay, guys, so a really quick little tip. If you make these agri-craft crops, um, the recipe is like this, four sticks. Now, what you can do is you can plant these down on the sand and actually put the sugar cane directly into it like this, and then you can use bone meal on it, so it's really, really useful really handy way of doing it because obviously then you can just bone mill up your crops and make them grow like super fast so it's really great just a little quick i thought quick tip i thought i might tell you um we're just gonna stay on here and just fill out this crop farm and then get five because it should take literally in no time at all and then we can make ourselves the punji stick and then we can start properly automating our mob farm so that'll be really really cool so let's just fill this out there we go and then let's just go one two Three, four, five. Awesome, we have the right amount. Let's put the bone meal all back in here that I had. I made loads of it, but um, yeah, let's make punji sticks. Dun, 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 dun. Awesome sauce, punji sticks. Now what we can do is we also want to make ourselves a, a vacuum hopper, which is made like, where is it, vacuum hopper? There it is. Um, it's a piece of obsidian, so I actually need to make obsidian. So now I'm going to cut away and make myself some obsidian, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I probably should have looked at the recipe to uh, make this before I actually started to do it, but literally all we need to do is, if we get the block placer, and this thing will actually let me place it properly, like, uh, how are we going to do this? I really, honestly, this thing is so ridiculously hard to place, it's, it's, it's stupid. A bit like this, is it gonna work? No, it's gonna face towards me because you're just stupid, I guess. It's 
best way to put it, like, I don't know what your problem is. Uh, if we go, no, nope, not what I want to do. If we go like this, no, it's still going to face this way. You are really irritating. Come here, block placer. If we place it like this, yay, okay, awesome. And then all we need to do is grab ourselves our uh, redstone clock and then just go like this. Oh. And it should break that, in theory. Uh, no, fine, wait a minute. Uh, maybe it needs the box space behind it, would probably make sense. Okay, that's not going to work. Let me just get a lever and see if that will do it. Where's our little friend? Um, do we not have one? Maybe we don't. Right, let's make one. A lever, like so. Cobblestone, awesome. Let's go, one. Hmm, give me a sec. Okay, I'm back again. So what I've done is I've made myself a stone barrel, which is made like this. Really easy to make. And then all you do is put some lava in it. I just bucket my crucible. Um, and then you put some water over the top of that by shift right clicking on the top of that with a bucket of water. And that will get you some obsidian. So now we've got the obsidian. All we need now to make ourselves the vacuum is... No, okay. Great, great writing there. Okay, cool, vacuum hopper is right here. All we're gonna need is an ender pearl and some blaze powder to make an ender eye. So let's get the ender pearl. Uh, ender pearl, cool, we have six of them, we have quite a lot of them. Um, blaze powder, there we go. Ender pearl, blaze powder, and a hopper, so five iron. One, two, three, four, five. Um, eight planks, there we go. And then we're just gonna make a chest. Brilliant, but not there. One, da 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 da. Awesome, a hopper, and then we're going to need to make ourselves an eye of ender, eye of ender, a hopper, and some obsidian. Great, there's a vacuum hopper. Now we're going to want to make ourselves another chest. Uh, then we're going to want another piece of that. We're going to want eight eye, and I'll show you why. And then they're just going to go like this. Let's make ourselves a chest first. There we go, chest. And then let's do um, this, like so. And how do we, okay, that's not how we make it, right, let me just see this, it is chest two, wow, this is really working well, see this, see how much I plan the episodes, great, um, iron, normal to iron, there it is, it's an assembly table, okay, so we can't make that quite yet, um, so we're going to have to put the chest, just, we're going to want this chest actually, so let's make ourselves another chest, Okay, and then let's go like this and do that. Of course, in expert mode, they make it obviously harder. Okay, so let's go over here. This is really, really basic automation, what we're going to do here. Oh, we've got an end pole. Thank you very much for that. And apparently now he's mad at us, even though we didn't do anything. Um, I don't think we did anything, Enderman. Uh, we didn't really touch you. So, hmm. I don't really understand. I'm going to grab this, because these take a while to grow, so you know. Any piece of growth on there is very welcome. Let's get ourselves a vacuum hopper, and that is all we're going to need for this. We're going to need the punchy sticks as well, but first we're just going to use this. And what we're going to do is we're going to put ourselves the vacuum hopper uh, around about here. Should be all right. And we're going to put the, uh, the chest here and here, and then we're going to want to go to the vacuum hopper. Probably not the best placement, but that's all right. Vacuum hopper here. Uh, let's take all this out, and let's go um, item outputs to here. And that should go into there. Brilliant. Uh, let's tuck all that in there, because, you know, why not? What's over light panel? I give them there. Where did that come from? Oh, I came from there. Where we put the vacuum off right. That's all right. We'll just chuck this over the edge. Goodbye. Okay, now all we need to do, and that can go as well, is break this, and then we get ourselves the punji sticks. If we kill everyone in here quickly. So it won't take too long at all. Just got to kill everyone. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Iron sword coming in handy here, hence why I made it. So that's pretty good. The planning was pretty bad in this episode, not gonna lie, but I did try. I did try. So let's kill all of these guys. Looks like it's gonna take a while. Let's get a creeper to explode. Brilliant. Okay, now I'm gonna put a punch stick down there and watch this. See, the mobs will die, and then their items will get sucked up by this vacuum mobber and put into here. Hey presto, we have an automated mob farm. Very basic automation, but automation nonetheless. Pretty cool, if I may say so myself. Now, we're actually going to go one step further. 
that was very close falling off there. Um, we're going to chuck this in here quickly just to clear the inventory a bit. Chuck that in there. No, it won't go. Um, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves an item transfer node. Just one of these guys. We're going to make ourselves a trash can, which I believe should still be very basic. Did I put? No, okay, trash can. Uh, we just want the items one, so it's again really basic. Five cobblestone, three stone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really don't know why this is still in my inventory. Can you please go away? Bye. Awesome. Um, okay, so we're going to make the trash can, and then I'll show you what we're going to do, do next. So let's go trash can, like that. Five cobblestone, not there. Three stone, there we go, trash can. Then we're also going to want to make ourselves an item filter. If we can, that is, if it hasn't been changed too much in expert mode. Item filter, it, cool, it's still basic. Okay, so four sticks. Um, let's get ourselves one of these, should be enough. That's only going to get us two. God, expert mode. Ah, so bad. So OP. Um, there we go, there's the four sticks. We're going to want four redstone. And we're going to want a one piece of string, which is in here. Brilliant, let's go string. One, two, three, four, redstone, and then one, two, three, please work, one, two, three, four, okay, and the redstone and sticks are opposite way around, let's just put that right around, there we go, item filter, now what we want to do is we want to eat our apples in a minute, for one thing, there we go, um, I'm going to break this one off as well, it's going to like completely make it uneven, but you know, it still looks fine, doesn't it, it's fine, it's fine. In fact, I'm not. I'm going to put that back because, you know, evenness is is worth something. There we go. And I'm actually going to just put it here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves the transfer node. That can go there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, an item filter. Filters can be placed with another filter to create advanced behaviors. Craft a right click to select items to filter. Bows. It should do all of them, I believe. But, um... Hopefully not. Hopefully, hopefully it should. I mean, is what is what I'm is what I'm hoping. So, if we put the trash can here, and then we put bows in there, it should chuck out all the bows. If we chuck these in here, you gonna go for that one as well? No. Okay, we might need to get the advanced filter. If we just have a look at this. Okay, that's really easy to make. Let's see if the advanced filter can do this. Let's take this out of here. Let's grab our bow just because you know we're gonna need it. Cool. Let's go over here, grab four lapis, and this is looking out to be a very unorganized episode. Sorry about this, guys. Um, okay, four lapis. Where's the lapis? Is in here. One, two, three, four. Cool. Let's go over to this one, which has still got all that in it. I did install mouse tweaks as well, guys. So, you know, that's pretty, pretty handy. Um, let's go one, two, three, four. Put the item filter in here. Advanced item filter. Now, if we right click this, filter program, default exe, block exe, item exe. Well, this is really cool. Or dictionary. Uh, we're going to want. I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to want the or dictionary. Uh, if we use our bow, we'll be able to check. So, this is actually really cool. Wow, that, wow, this is really cool. Um, wow. Um, so if we just look over here, we might it might be like a tall one maybe. Um, food smelted, polarized, one chanted, chantable has container item, durability bar shown, durability bar full has display name. So if we put, for instance, I don't want to do that. Oh, we're gonna have to go all the way back. Um, it should be around here. Did we just go over it? has display name okay now if we go no how do we how do we how do we open this then how do we actually you know open this thing up hmm it's just trash canning all our items in it it is it is actually trash canning all our items at the moment thank you for being so handy my friend but that's not what i want you to do so, we actually need to open this guy, so how are we going to do this? Right click to select filter items, filter program, right click to change filter program, craft with the redstone touch to in, the torch to invert, it can be placed in normal filters to create advanced behaviours. Uh, so if we do like, how do we do this, if we do, uh, where is it? 
Ah, oh, we went over it again. This is so painful. Energy foods, multiple enchantables, durability, go away. Has display name. Okay. So now, if we put ourselves this guy down, and then if we go in here and we put that in, like, did it just, did we just bin off it? Oh, thank God we didn't bin a filter. So if we put, like, this in there, but then bows? No, how do we, how do we do this? I will be back, guys. Okay, guys, after a bit of research, which I should have done at the start of the episode, I'm an idiot, um, what we actually do need is not the um, item folder I've got. We don't need the advanced one. We do just need a normal one. Um, if I go one, two, and then we go and get four redstone. Wait, wait, one string, four redstone, two. Not lapis. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Uh, turn these into sticks. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one. There we go. And then what we do is we need another stick. Thank you. And then if we put that guy... Okay, if we put that guy there, it should say, ignores metadata. Excellent. Now, if we go over to um, our little uh, item transfer nodey thing, which is actually killing everything at the moment, because it's, you know, just, just how it works. Uh, if we right-click this and put a bow in there, so this one's got this dribble, as you see. Uh, if there's another bow in there, there's not at the moment. But let's chuck this in there. Ignores metadata. It should chuck any bows into the um, into the trash can, in theory. Okay, guys. So hopefully that's going to work. So um, it should chuck any bows that come in here, no matter what their durability are, into the trash can. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much this episode. I hope you've enjoyed, guys. If you have, please hit the like button and subscribe and comment. Tell me what you think I could do better and stuff. Um, I'm really sorry about the research aspect. I really should have done my research before I started the episode. But again, thank you for watching. Make sure you check out my other episodes of the series if you haven't seen them. I highly recommend it. And also my other series is like my Ultra Modded Survival series and uh, my Project Ozone series. Captain Minecraft is also a good hit. And I will see you next episode. Thank you very much, guys. And goodbye.